What is the metalcore riff? Where did it originate and why has it been used over and over again? Metalcore is a combination of metal, hardcore, punk, and rock that dominated through the 2000s and well into the 2010s. Known for having back and forth screaming and singing, chugged guitar breakdowns, power chord choruses, drums that blast beat, and most importantly, the metalcore riff. The riffs may not be note-for-note -note copies, but they all share the same structure. It's a two-part equation, one part pedal tone progression, and one part minor melody. The pedal tone is a note we keep coming back to throughout the riff. The pedal tone progression means that note changes with the song's chord progression, and the minor melody is established with accent notes. These accent notes all come from the minor scale associated with the song. Not always, but often, the melody notes are also played with a hammer pull trill at some point in the riff. But who was the first person to do this? Many modern metal guitarists would probably cite the iconic example heard in Avenged Sevenfold's Unholy Confessions. This song gained massive attention in a time where metalcore was a brand new genre, helping to create a template for the bands to follow. It may be the first example of the metalcore riff in a metalcore song, but it actually goes further back than this. Let's take a look at melodic death metal. One of the biggest bands to pave the way for death metal and truly heavy music was a band called death, a perfectly befitting name. There's no doubt that this riff was heard by many metalheads and used as a point of inspiration. So there it is, 1998. Death, the band that influenced so much of modern metal, even influenced the metalcore riff. Well, actually... Ceremonial Oath wasn't a very big band in the main scheme of things, later having members go on to form the much more influential In Flames and Hammerfall, but clearly they beat everyone in the melodic death metal scene to the chase on this one. The riff was written by either Jesper Strombald or Anders Ewers. I actually reached out to Ewers via Instagram to see who came up with the idea and what inspired them while writing the riff and dream song. Anders said he couldn't remember which one of them wrote it, but they'd been heavily influenced by Iron Maiden and other bands of the like. Thus it came no surprise to me when I stumbled across this version from 13 years prior. It's pretty damn close. We've got the palm muted pedal tone, we've got the minor melody notes, but something's a little different. Some of the melody notes are squealed as pinch harmonics, and there's no sign of a hammer pull trill originating here either. It doesn't quite embody the riff we know and love. There's got to be something in between Judas Priest and Ceremonial Oath, a bridge between old school heavy metal and melodic death metal. After the heavy metal movement, we got the new wave of British heavy metal, now commonly known as the NWO BHM, which in my Instagram message to Anders, he did say they were influenced by. Three years after Judas Priest released Electric Eye, NWO BHM band Avenger gave us this. Next. <laughs> It's amazing to me that this riff could still hold up in today's music. Unfortunately, Ewers said they'd never heard this song, although they did listen to Judas Priest. But as far as I could tell, this is the earliest use of what is now the metalcore riff. If you can find an earlier example, let me know in the comments. As many of you know, all good things must come to an end. I'd be lying if I said the metalcore riff doesn't make me absolutely cringe when a new band uses it. <laughs> And I'm not alone in that feeling. Sadly, the riff is deemed the metalcore riff because the entire metalcore scene absolutely abused the use of it. It's fallen in the mosh pit too many times and it's not getting back up. 
Now the trends are harmonic rakes, chromatic movement, syncopation, dead notes, intense low string bends, and pitch shifting. As metalcore turned into progressive metalcore, the gent riff took center stage. The metalcore bands that stuck around have either gone hard rock, new, new metal, or incorporated the gent sound in some way. I'll always have a happy nostalgia hearing my favorite bands pull it off, and even playing the major key variant, known as the easy core riff, but if bands stopped using the metalcore riff altogether, I'd be just fine. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed learning more about the metalcore riff with me. I'm Tyler Rosso, you are the internet, and if you made it this far, spin kick the subscribe button, hammer on the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.